And there was an old woman who lived in a shoe. You ever feel like that old woman just crammed into a tiny space with all your kids and stuff? Coming up, we have genius ideas for decorating a small space on a dime. Better Kansas City is back after this. All right, it's time to talk smart design for small spaces. And Tamstone with Tamstone Interiors is here with some great ideas. I know they always say, and you stress this, the most important thing is decluttering. I got that, but then I have no idea what else to do with the small space. And I wouldn't have thought of monochromatic, but that's one of your key points. It is, and we always um, hear, oh, a small space, you have to um, paint it white, make it right. light. That's the only way to make it feel bigger. Not true. Um, we've got an example here of Tracy Zeller did with a really um, very small and quite awkward space that by painting the entire space one neutral color, even though it's very dark, she kept it all consistent all the way through the space. It creates a feeling of infinity. You don't really know where the walls and the ceiling begins and everything else, and that makes the space feel much bigger. Do you have to have a lot of lighting then? Yeah, you really, lighting is critical in small spaces because you want to make sure that all of your corners are lit as well as floor to ceiling. Otherwise, you're kind of blocking off part of the usable space in the room. Tracy does this really well as, uh, also. If those kind of sewer cabinets were not backlit with the functional lighting, um, you would lose that whole depth of the room. And then you talk also about using mirrors to double light. What do you mean? Well, if you're in a small space, and you can see here in this Toby Fairley room, um, just by putting a, placing a mirror strategically, it will reflect the light and bounce it around the room. So you can use light sources as well as reflective surfaces like mirrors to create more light in a room by bouncing it around. What kind of furniture do you pick for a bedroom? I mean, is it important to have a lot of under the bed storage if your bedroom's really tiny? Sure. I mean, storage is critical. Right. Um, and you really, you really, in a space, you only want to have what you absolutely need in your space and then you need to, everything needs to have a place and it needs to be in it and that's going to be under bed storage. If you look here um, again in this example there's a desk in that space as well as in a in Instead of just having a nightstand and then having another piece of furniture, it's got dual purpose. So you've got to be multifunctioning with your pieces. And you, one of your tips is know when to downsize and know when to scale up. What do yeah. you mean by scale up? This is critical. Um, knowing how to make a focal point in the room so that you are able to look at something and it draws your attention. We know, don't use those big, huge, huge roll arms on your pieces of furniture. Like what's scaling up here? That well, we're this at? is a vertical. This is an incredible room by Toby, and she's also fantastic with color. That room is really not much bigger than that sectional sofa, but she's put a really overscale ottoman in there that's mm -hmm. um, eye-catching. And then she's repeated the color at the mid-level and then all the way up at the ceiling at the vertical level. So it, your eye goes all the way through the room instead of just focusing down at ground level. What's the most common mistake that like, I'm probably making right now or, or people mistake that you talk to all the time? It's trying to create a room for when you're entertaining instead of how you're really living. Know what you're using the space for and design it for that specifically. Don't do it for the exception, do it for the rule. And then if you have people over to entertain, just oh well? Well, you know, when people come over, <laughs> if you've got a tiny postage stamp room, they're expecting it to be, you might have to sit on a pillow on the floor right. or pull up an ottoman or something like that. They know it's small. You're not fooling anybody. So just own it. Yeah, own it. Own and it. Have Don't apologize for pieces. it. Yeah, be creative. All right, Tam, thank you so much. Yeah. Dave. Just meet at a bar, Alexis. Problem solved. <laughs> All right, there was, a, there was a time you couldn't go.